Hi there, Nigel Saunders for KW Bonsai. Uh, this morning we're looking at my ficus tree. Uh, it's a medium leaf ficus. Uh, ficus has come in three leaf sizes. Uh, there's, you know, your large leaf uh, ficus benjaminas. There's a medium leaf one, which is what this tree is. And there's also a very tiny leaf one. So this is a medium size. Uh, so let's take a look at the tree and uh, I'll show you what we're going to be doing to it this morning. This tree was repotted over the winter in uh, the start of February of this year. Uh, it's got really good soil in it. I made sure it was uh, nice and loose, free draining, uh, fairly large particles in it. I gave it quite a root pruning. Um, a lot of the roots were starting to get, you know, quite long without taper and ramification. So I cut the roots back quite a bit. Uh, it does have a nice flared root base. Uh, I've got the soil mounted up quite high just to make sure all my pruning cuts were buried in the soil. So hopefully when we're, when we repot it next time, you'll get to see the roots and uh, hopefully they'll look good too. So the trunk on this tree, when I first got the tree, it had one main trunk which is back here and it was fairly straight and it had some small aerial roots that were growing down alongside the trunk and since then the aerial roots have thickened up to the point where they're pretty well the same size as the original trunk and they've kind of fused in with the original trunk and one thing with ficus trunks is it doesn't matter how bizarre looking the trunk is uh, as it ages it all blends in and uh, it'll eventually go quite smooth uh, you can see around here there's an aerial root that's actually blending in with the trunk now. And, you know, I can see in another five, 10 years, you'll hardly notice uh, any difference between the aerial root and the trunk. It'll just gradually get smoother as time goes on. Um, so we're not gonna repot the tree today, but what I do wanna do, uh, a mature ficus tree has a very large umbrella style canopy and that's what we're trying to do with this tree. I'm trying to grow out the canopy. Uh, I want it a nice umbrella shape so I want to grow it out wider on the sides and keep the top sort of a uh, you know the dome shape. So it's getting to the point now where it, the top is starting to get a little long it's starting to look quite square on the sides instead of rounded. So we're going to go in and we're going to prune the top of the tree back. And how we're going to prune it is going to be quite coarse. We're just going to basically prune to the profile like you do with a topiary or a hedge. And uh, just to get it back in check. So all these upper branches here aren't blocking all the light to the lower branches. So by keeping it that umbrella shape, all parts of the tree will get equal light and it'll grow a little more vigorously down lower. Um, and the top, which you can see is quite vigorous, that gets pruned back, which will uh, balance the tree. It'll balance the energy in the tree better. Uh, one thing you'll notice about this tree is that it doesn't have your typical branch arrangement. Um, it doesn't have, you know, left, right, back, le left, right, back structure. It has a very natural structure, and that's because that's basically how it's grown. I've, uh, if a branch wants to grow off the trunk, I, I let it grow. Uh, the only thing that stops it growing is if it doesn't get light. So by pruning your the top to an umbrella shape. If the branch is meant to be, it'll grow. 
If it doesn't, it'll die off. Okay, so I've got the front of the tree pointed to the camera and we're gonna go in and do some profile pruning. So we're just gonna scissor prune it to the shape we want. Uh, sometimes we'll be cutting into older hardwood. Sometime it'll just, sometimes it'll just be the soft new growth. But we wanna get our umbrella shape to the tree. So here we go. Um, when you're pruning this, you need to kind of step back and just see the structure from the distance. And it'll help you determine what's sticking out of your profile and what's not. So I'm just going to take a quick look but from back here. Okay. So we'll start, we'll start at the top of the tree, which is right here. And we'll just go in and start cutting. And I'm not worrying about cutting through leaves. It's just uh, like getting a haircut. Let's step back and have a look again. Yeah. Coming. So again, I'm just going in. Step back and have a look again. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. I'll come around back here. See again how that's looking. It's getting more of a rounded shape, but you can see uh, I still need to bring this side down a bit. Um, so when you're working on this, you've got to remember that bonsai is a three-dimensional. We're not just looking at it from one view. Uh, so from the top, you want an elongated oval shape to your profile. Uh, I've talked about this in some of my other videos that a tropical tree or any tree uh, the Sun always has a direction and the front of the tree is here and the Sun rises on this side of the tree it goes across the canopy in the sky and then it sets on this side of the tree so this side of the tree is always fuller and the front because the Sun never shines directly from the front of the tree it's always above or to the sides it's sparser and so when viewed from the top we get this along elongated shape oval so fuller here fuller here sparser on the sides and that gives a nice tropical tree look to it so when viewed from the top not only are we pruning to the umbrella shape profile but we're also pruning the overall structure to a, a nice rounded oval shape so that's why I'm pruning some of these branches back here and we need to take more off on this side I 
I'm just going to step back and have another look at it. Yeah. So it's getting closer from the front. Um, I could still bring the height down a bit. And still some more up this side. So this side's still a little heavy. And we want a bit more off the height. And you're going to prune into some old wood. But it's just part of the process. You have to do it. Let's have a look again. Yeah, it still needs uh, still needs more off this side. Now you don't want to do this process if you don't have vigor in the tree. So that, that's why I've left it grow out. Um, we've had a really we've had a really cool summer this year. Um, there haven't been very many days above 30 degrees Celsius. Uh, and most of our nighttime lows have gone into the teens. Um, there's been a lot of nights where it's gone down to 13 and 14 degrees. It was even 12 the other day. So it hasn't been the greatest year for growing tropical trees. Um, so normally, I, I think this tree would be a lot fuller at this point in the year, but it has enough vigor in it now to do this. And uh, my goal is to try and get it in pretty good shape by fall when I bring it back indoors. So let's continue. Um, I'm going to step back and have another look at it. Yeah, we're, we're kind of... Out front, we're a little full here. So we've got to start pruning our profile this direction also. Have another look. Slowly getting better. We could uh, a little more off on this side, I think, here. Getting there, getting there. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's looking more like a mature tree. 
with that profile. Um, can maybe loosen that a bit. So I'll just spin the tree around so you can see where I'm going with it. Our back is. Uh, Remember, we're trying to get that elongated shape oval, so I'm thinking I still got to take a bit off here. 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 Okay, so it's getting closer. I'm, uh, I'm going to take the camera off the tripod and we'll have a look at it in three dimensions and you can kind of see where we're at. Okay, so we're going to have a look at the tree from above here. Um, so we're still sticking out. This is the front of the tree. We're still sticking out here. So we're going to going to prune that back. Now it's a shame to lose width there but you don't want one branch growing wide you want the whole thing so as you can see you know these branches are blocking up the bottom ones but we can only prune back so much we don't want to lose all our foliage. Where am I pointing? Probably not direction. Um, yeah, so let's, viewed from the side, we're kind of sticking out here a bit far, prune some of these back. He's still too far out here. Yeah, we'll go around the back here. So let me get the exact back of the tree. Here's the back of the tree. Um, we're a little long in some areas still. It's getting closer. Got a little. Well, we'll leave those. We'll leave that. That's okay. Let me have here. It's still sticking out a bit here. Let me take that back a little further there. Yeah, I don't know. A bit, a bit further here still. It's getting pretty close now. Okay. Well, let's go back to the front of the tree here. Have a look at it. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Um, so, in future plans for this tree, we haven't done much pruning you know, on the sides. So, we're gonna fill that out in an effort to get our big low umbrella canopy. Um, generally, a ficus, you want it at least twice as wide as it is high. So if we take the height of this tree, as here, 
we take the width so yeah we want to grow it out to at least here and here so it's got a lot of growing to do however there we go that's our work on it for today and uh, again we'll keep updates on this tree and uh, I think the next video will be repotting it into a nice bonsai pot okay Nigel Saunders for KW Bonsai see you next time